So I'm not in my studio, obviously, down at the coast, and I've got this to show you, which is the Power Vision Power Ray. So it's a 4K underwater drone with a camera that has a 95 degree field of view. Now it does have two LED lights either side of it, and it can go down to depths, this drone of 30 meters. It does come with 70 meters of cable. Now with the footage you're able to record, it's 4K 24 frames per second, the highest resolution quality. Unfortunately not 30 frames per second. We've got 1440p 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 with its 12 megapixel sensor. Now the top speed of this drone in the high mode or the sport mode is up to four knots. The Power Ray does come in its own suitcase. It's quite a decent quality one and it has wheels as you can see with everything nicely packed away and in its own little compartment here where there's a lot of padding around it too to protect everything. This is our base station here so that connects up wirelessly to a phone running the application. This plugs into one end of the cable, the other goes into the drone and then we've got a mobile phone mount here for the controller does come with a quick start guide which is in various different languages. Fish finder, our controller, we've got some VR goggles, you do need to insert a phone into them. Power supply and then the cable which is 70 meters long. Just a few quick stats now about this particular drone. So charge time will take around about two and a half hours to fully charge the 94 watt hour battery. And the runtime is four hours of light use, so that's on the low motor mode in still water and around an hour and a half with the medium speed and then just half an hour on the full high speed setting and if you have for example you're fighting tides and things it's really going to affect the battery runtime with it. Up the front here is where you find the camera so this is a 12.4 megapixel camera that can shoot 4k and we have two powerful LED flashes either side that you can turn on via the application just to illuminate things your surroundings a little bit better the fish the sea life that's down there. So the props, there's one in the middle of it for controlling our depth. This here is made out of metal and there are another two either side here. So mostly all plastic apart from these props being metal. There's a little bit of rubber here on the bottom and there is a built-in LED which is blue along the top here to help identify where the drone is. Imagine if you lost it in the water, you couldn't really see where it was. Well, this LED is going to help because it will be flashing away. Now this is going to be my spot where I'm recording. So this is one of the requirements really is you want to find somewhere that you've got very clear water. Otherwise the results won't be so satisfying when you see just murk in the water or it's quite muddy water. Now you do also need a lot of patience. This is now my third attempt to get good footage because other days there just wasn't any direct sunlight out. It's been overcast. That's going to affect the footage quality. And if it's really rough or the water's murky, it won't look so good. So I can already see uh, quite a few fish just down in this area. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get some good 4K footage of them. And do remember to bring along some fresh water because I'm in the salt water here. I'm going to need to wash the drone down afterwards. You don't wanna have it sitting around, sitting back in the case here. If it's got salt all over it, it could damage it. So that's why you need to just rinse it out. Now controlling the drone with the joysticks, not too bad. So the left joystick is for our depth control and then the right one for the movement. So pushing ahead, don't wanna get tangled up in the cord here. I can power ahead. This is just on the surface here. I can turn around. And then if I pull down and forward, it then does start to dive right down there, hopefully not hitting those rocks. Biggest issue here is the water's a little murky. I'm up against the current here. And there are a few fish, fish floating around, but they do not want to get close. Oh, finally, I've got a view of some fish here. School of fish. And still looking a little murky there. Doesn't help that it's a bit overcast today.
very hit and miss when it comes to where you're going to be recording. It's one of the important things that you find a spot where you've got still water, but very clear water as well to get the maximum quality out of the footage. So it is pretty much an easy kind of drone to control, especially when you put it into the low mode to maneuver it around. It's not too difficult. Depth's down to 30 meters. I was nowhere near that here. It's quite shallow. And as you saw from some of that sample footage, you are able to get some interesting looking shots of marine life down there, some of the fish swimming around, but it does move and rock about a little bit with the currents. So that's why you probably want somewhere like a freshwater lake if possible that is very clear to get some of that decent footage. Now speaking about the footage, I've had a look at some of it and I find it to be all right, but it's a shame that it's only 24 frames per second at the top resolution. It really needs to be a smoother 30 frames per second with this drone. Now the battery runtime is up to four hours if you're only just using it very lightly, but if you're fighting and combating a bit of a current, you've got some waves and things, and you use the medium or the high or sport mode, that battery life really does start to plummet quite quickly with this drone. It's only about half an hour on the top for not setting, which is quite a bit short there. Apart from that, for what it is in the market of other drones around there, the price, they are all quite expensive, around a thousand euros here. You do have a decent drone. It's just, I wish that quality is the big one for me, at least if it could do 30 frames per second, if somehow they can update the firmware with it, that would be really good. So thank you so much for watching my review here of the PowerVision PowerRay underwater drone.